Hey guys, this is Navy Chief bringing you another Black Desert video. Today, this is just a quick video to show you something you can do if you have about 10 free minutes and just want to make a quick bit of money. If you want to stay tuned for more content from me, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get on topic. So what we're talking about today here is gathering insectivore plant powder. The location I use to do this is at the entrance to Hex Sanctuary, northeast of Bear, right near the NPC Becker. Here I'm going through and just showing some of the uh, gathering equipment I use for my mastery. Uh, nothing really special, a couple Manos accessories. I do have a Tet Manos Gatherer's Clothes and a Tet Hoe, which helps tremendously. Uh, I forgot to show it here, but I have 1123 Mastery. I'll swap over, show it right here now. Okay, and then uh, so I came over, I brought my pets out. I do have a Tier 4 Hedgehog, which that also helps. So I'm deciding what to use here. I'm going to use a Verdure Drought, and I'm just going to use my uh, Alchemy Stone. So I activate the Drought and the Alchemy Stone. The Alchemy Stone gives me a 10-minute timer. And I'm off. The first plant is right over here. Do a quick gather. And right off the bat, I pulled 6 and 3. So, so here I'm just going to speed it up. I go through location to location each plant one at a time just gathering the plant so as I'm running through this uh, I just wanted to mention I have not yet received a uh, like any special drops no Kaffir stones no uh, no sharps or hards I haven't received any of those here uh, I've ran this run probably about five or six times and have yet to receive any special drops so don't count on those. However, with the value of the powder that you pull off these plants, it more than makes up for it. One of the other things I tend to do as I'm doing this gathering run is I'll kill a few of these mobs. It just adds to my, uh, my count for the mobs for my accessory to get uh, that witch earring. Each one of these 10 minute runs, I usually pull at least 300. Of these powders because this run only takes about 10 minutes you can do one run swap channels then do another run for a total of 20 minutes but then you'd have to wait another five minutes before you can swap again so giving this a silver per hour value is difficult to do you can't take the money earned in the 10 minutes and multiply that by six that just doesn't work anyway you can see here while I'm running this what the general idea looks like It'll take a few runs to start memorizing the specific locations of some of the plants, but once you know them, your run times will dramatically increase. Clearly, I don't have all the plant locations memorized yet. Uh, I have a general idea of where they're all at, but uh, I still need to work on it. A few more runs and I'll have it down pat. This is a good alternative if you're, say you're waiting for a boss to spawn and you have 15 minutes. Take 10 minutes, make this run, earn a good quick 15 million silver and uh, then continue on with what you were doing. So I made it to the market here. Going to talk to the market manager. Locate my powder. Put them all in to the market. Locate them in my list usually just below the mushrooms and traces. There it is, 49,800. There's plenty of orders for them, 359 for sale. And you can see my profit there. Well, it's hard to see it. It's written under the umbrella thing there. So I go back in, try and do it again to see if I can see it. I don't know why that umbrella thing kept coming up. So it covered it again. But you can see 17,800,000 is the market value. And I gained 15.1 million silver for that. Not bad for uh, about 10 minutes. Again, you could uh, easily run this for 10 minutes, swap channels, run another quick run, only using about 60 energy 
for all of that and pull in about 30 million. Have you tried gathering this insectivore powder? How'd it work for you? How many did I miss? Do you know of any other locations that has these plants? I'd like to check those out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.